Well, going back to where it all began, way back to 1925, the Mountain City Fiddlers Convention coming up this Saturday at Heritage Hall Theater. Joining me now with more is Sheila Caldwell, and it's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much. It's nice to meet you. Big weekend for you guys. Uh, you know, it's an incredible weekend considering for the last three years, the Fiddlers Convention has been on hiatus because of COVID and, mm -hmm. and event changes. And uh, we are just so thrilled that the Cody Norris Show has taken the helms and will be producing the Mountain City Fiddlers Convention. This is the 98th anniversary. Wow. So this is huge. So huge. And of course, bringing it all back to where it started, which yes. I think is really nostalgic. Yeah, because back then it was the old high school. And That's now crazy. it's, you know, the Heritage Hall Theater. So we felt like bringing it back to its roots as we uh, reintroduce it to uh, to the locals, but also to a whole lot of other people who have never been to it before because we have so many people moving into Johnson County mm -hmm. that haven't had the privilege of experiencing the Fiddler's Convention, so it's gonna be new for them and tying it in with Long Journey Home. We're gonna have bluegrass music starting Friday night all the way to the end of the day on uh, Sunday, so it's gonna be a huge weekend there in, in Mountain City. Sounds like it, lots of people coming home. I'm sure it'll be a big reunion. I was reading online some of the stories and the connections yes. that people have and why they're so passionate about getting this back. Well, this is uh, for many of the Appalachian uh, bluegrass and country musicians where some of them like G.B. Grayson, you know, got their start. You know, they were in this competition. I look at the names of the competitors back from 1925 and I have a distant relative oh. on that list. So a lot of us uh, that have either grown up there, have family there. We have roots and connections to the Fiddler's Convention. And of course, Cody and Mary Rachel Norris, who have grown up in bluegrass music mm -hmm. and now celebrities in their own right, you know, have brought this back and they're gonna add their flair to it. So it's gonna be the Fiddler's Convention with a bit of a bluegrass festival feel. And uh, they've put a lot of time and intention into how it's all gonna come about. And I think everybody's gonna have a really good time both the competitors and the spectators, and it's, it's just going to be a really fun weekend. And you mentioned the competitors. Tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about the competition part of it, how that works. Well, we have uh, categories for uh, youth under the age of 17, as well as adult. All of that is on the website, is uh, mountaincityfc.com. It's $20 per category for somebody to come in, and these are amateurs. So these are emerging musicians and performers um, that have, even a harmonica can come out, oh, you nice. know, and to compete, so there's, there's other things besides the fiddles and okay. the guitars and the mandolins, but what's really unique about this particular competition is we're going to have at the very end of the day a fiddle off. Oh, so the fun. Top, yeah, the top fiddle players have a chance to win a custom Jason Berry fiddle, and this thing is beautiful $5,000 fiddle. Oh my goodness. So at, the yeah, fiddle off? at the fiddle off? At the fiddle off. Somebody's going to take that home. And that is going to be fun to watch. That's, uh, and nobody wants to, Mary Rachel has played it. She said it's one of the best fiddles she's ever played. Mm. She doesn't want to part with I it, but not. we're going to have to. Jason Berry didn't want to part with it, <laughs> but it's, it's going to be uh, not just bragging rights, but it's going to be something that they can play with pride. And of course, Recording King donated instruments as well for some of the top prizes. So for $12,000 in prizes and cash. Oh, wow. So, so this is a serious competition. Yes, as well as just all the musical performances that you can mm -hmm. see. It's going to be an incredible weekend. We'll give everybody the information. It is the Mountain City Fiddlers Convention all happening there at Heritage Hall. As she mentioned, stuff going on all weekend long. Best thing to do is go to the website mountaincityfc.com for more.